he expected Caston to, well, he didn't expect him to live it even to birth, but he said if he did live, he would be severely mentally and physically disabled. And he was actually very smart. Caston uh, was actually a very smart baby. He was physically delayed. It was that the size of a newborn at eight months old. Every time Josh would work out, he would start lifting his legs like he was working out without fail. <laughs> so he knew what was going on. He wasn't what the doctor said he was going to be. He pretty much said he was going to be a vegetable and not do anything, but he was not like that. Nobody had any hope that he was going to live, even though he showed he was doing great. Um, we would take him to his doctor's appointments and they'd be shocked that he was still here. Um, he did live eight months and when he died it was extremely unexpected. It's been hard losing him but he taught me a lot. I was kind of selfish in a way that I didn't think about other people and what they were going through. Um, I also had no patience. And since having him, I'm a lot more patient and willing to go the extra step to help somebody if they need it. It's worth it. You will learn an unconditional love. Having children, you already love them, but having a special needs children, you have you develop this incredible bond because you're constantly there, you're constantly taking care of them. And even if you choose that you don't want to, there are people that will are willing to take care of special needs. I, while he was alive, I mean, I worked harder at everything in life because I want, I mean, he showed me that you could work harder. Things were easier than they seemed, and even the hardest things were possible. Because, I mean, every day, just looking at him when I woke up, I knew that no matter how bad my day would be, he was working through worse. So it was, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, he, Facebook, he's got millions of people who, well, not millions, it's a big number. Thousands of fans who every day tell us how he changed their life. So, I mean, um, I don't know. It's, it's just the whole ideal of him. His picture, I mean, incites hope. So... Uh, especially for me and I know other people too but uh, I mean it's a hope that, that keeps us going I mean it, even after he passed away it just it keeps going it, it was the effort he put in versus what you see the average human being put in I mean he's still growing fans he's still helping um, instead of just being about him I mean we spend more time helping with other kids that are having problems now we spend most of our time because uh, it's been a huge thing. It's not just his, like he had the mosaic tripoidy on his page. Now we share, you know, any possible issues we find. We're constantly fighting for people not to give up on their kids. I personally don't think abortion is necessary. Even in the cases of being told your child's not going to live. Um, I don't think a doctor knows everything. From personal experience, they don't know a lot. Don't just abort the baby. I mean, they can live, they can do things, they can change people. Um, anybody is able to do something to help somebody else, even if it's just being there.